Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Jared. Today, I'm going to be doing some work on the V35 Skyline. So, I've gone ahead and bought a electronic throttle controller. So, this is the electronic throttle controller. Essentially, what it does is it plugs into the factory pedal on the car, intercepts the signal before it goes to the ECU, and you can manipulate how reactive or responsive the pedal is. So the advantage with that is if you're doing sort of performance driving and you want quick response, you can turn the response up. If you're doing highway or economy driving, you can turn that response down. So from factory, the cars are tailored more towards the comfortable driving range, so their pedals aren't as reactive. So you're losing a bit of performance in the responsiveness and crispness of the pedal. So installing this allows you to trick the ECU and give you a bit more real-time throttle response like you would on a cable operated car. So essentially to do that, you've got this unit. This one's called an EVC throttle controller and I got it from Autobahn and that's a special order part number there. So in the box, you've got this little screen here with a cable. And then you've got this wiring harness here. So you've got a male and a female plug. So this end plugs into the actual pedal on the car. And then this one plugs into the wiring harness, the factory wiring harness on the car. And then the last wire here, that one actually plugs into this unit here. So it's really simple and there's really no modification to do and it should take a couple minutes. The only thing I didn't like was the white face. I don't know why it comes factory with a white face, but I've also gone ahead and just bought the black one. Even I thought it was quite expensive, it was, it was $7. But I got the unit on special for $200 and it appears there's always some sort of sale on these. Repco, online, Autobahn, super cheap. Just look around, you should be able to get one for $200 or slightly under that. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove this panel so it's easier to get up under the accelerator here. But now you can see here, that's the plug that's connected to the pedal, which we need to remove. So now that plug is off. So now we've got our wiring harness here. So the male end goes into that factory plug there. And then the female end. So male into the factory plug and female onto onto the pedal at the back there. Then you've got this plug here that we're going to run up to the unit itself. So I'm just going to put this up the side here. So now that tray is back up and we've got our plug here to go to the gauge. I'm thinking actually a good spot might just be here and I can run the cable down the gap here underneath. I was sort of hoping to install it here, but the wiring harness comes out on the left of the unit, not on the right. Because my with my phone mounts here, it's going to be a little bit blocked off. But I mean, I don't think I'll be changing the throttle controller like all the time. And I don't always have my phone in this mount as well. So I think, I think in both of them, I could probably just leave set up here. So it already comes with some double-sided adhesive on the back. So I'm just going to peel that off and then stick it in the spot over there where I was saying. Okay, so then you just got to take the plug from the gauge and the plug that you ran underneath and just connect them up. Tuck them under, put back up. Okay, so that's now installed and the wire is going through here underneath. So you can't even see it. 
I was thinking a more stealthy option would be mount it under here so you could like close it out of the way and not see it. But I don't have time to take this whole centerpiece out, drill a hole through it and run it. One thing I just want to say quickly was with that four wire plug from the gauge to the pedal, make sure you put it the right orientation around because I just noticed you could put it, you could actually put it in any four directions. And when I first turned the car and it didn't turn on, so I had to actually rotate it 180 degrees and then now I can actually see the gauge. Just wanted to show what the unit looks like now with the black face on it. So it actually like blends in quite nice with the interior so you can't actually even notice it that much. So there's actually three modes here. So U was for ultimate. So nine being the most reactive economy. E, six being the least reactive and AC which is automatic control. So it says it's what it sets it apart is it automatically chooses a throttle response based on the pressure. I think U is off the ultimate. So I'm going to try it on setting 9 first. Alright, so this is my first impression. I've just got it set on ultimate 9, so this should be the most responsive. We'll see how it goes. Taking a oh shit! Oh my god! Wow! All right. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, this is gonna get fuck. Oh, I'm gonna have to get maybe nine is too much. Fuck. Let's try it. four. Mine's just like undrivable almost. Yeah, straight out of the bat, nine, like when you try to throttle it between changing gears, it's just like you rev the shit out of the car. Yeah, so like, I didn't realize what I was doing, but on this car, like, like you normally drive a manual, you add like a bit of accelerator when you change gears, because I found like the car would like bog down if you didn't have a little bit of accelerator when you change gears. But now if you try to accelerate when you're changing gears, like it's so reactive, it revs the engine up super quick. So you, you can just change gears like normal and then get back on the throttle. You don't have to keep your foot on it all to like keep the car moving. Like t that taking off was a little bit difficult as well. But so far, not setting number four is not too bad. You can notice like a small improvement. Just like cruising along if I stab the throttle. It's not that much different on four. It's definitely a little bit, a little bit sharper. Oh, like trying to heel toe downshift, it's way easier now. Like before you have to like rev it up heaps to like rev match it. Oh shit. Definitely, like, after driving it stock for four years, it's gonna take like a little bit to get used to. So now I've got it set to economy mode three, just to try it out, see what it feels like. Okay, first impressions, pretty smooth. A little bit like the factory, I guess. No, 
nothing like crazy. The gear changes are like way smoother when you use the throttle, like changing the gears like before, it's like really nice. So I might put it to six, which is the most economical setting. Or already I noticed like the transient throttle response is like way less. coming out of the corner getting back on the throttle and then after changing gears you can tell like the delay is probably half of what it is when it's like stock I mean it's still like drivable and it's definitely like a lot more comfortable to drive I think like this setting it would be like perfect for like long trips or if you've got passengers in the car that might get car sick I think it's a really good setting so then last I might just try the automatic so AC automatic control so I'm just gonna see what that feels like up like how much throttle you got and like how fast you're pressing it to react so yeah it feels actually pretty good just like driving along the pedal just feels a lot more like linear now like the amount I press it matches like how fast the car picks up back to factory okay now it's back to factory just for comparison after trying all three okay wow okay I can notice like the difference straight away being back on the factory setting The automatic setting is definitely way better than this. Back to ultimate. So, in conclusion, does it make much of a difference? I think definitely. I was thinking maybe because this was like the sports option model that maybe like the throttle response wasn't going to be too bad from factory like they would have tuned it a bit better than say the automatic but it's definitely there's that delay is there and with this throttle controller with like ultimate nine i don't know if you would want to use number nine at all to drive around but you would need like a lot of practice to get used to driving with that setting even now with number four i'm like stuck behind this car and I'm like trying to baby the throttle, it's a bit difficult. So I would probably leave it on the automatic, that's probably what I'm gonna do. And then if I'm doing some sort of spirited driving, maybe put it on ultimate. And then if I'm doing like economy freeway driving or I've got passengers, then I'll put it on the economy setting. If you have any questions, pop them down below. Uh, thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.